Fresh water generator submerged tube type. Major parts and its functions. Ejector pump is a motor-driven single suction volute pump to send water to water ejector. Water ejector. The seawater from the ejector pump passes through the nozzle at high speed and it becomes vacuum. It consists of brass diffuser and stainless and suction part. Salinity meter box measures salt concentration and oversees alarm of salt concentration, abnormality, and controls solenoid valve. Separator shell tube that makes steam separation a liquid. Condenser heat exchanger that condenses steam and purifies fresh water. Evaporator heat exchanger that warms seawater and vaporizes it. Distillate water pump is to send distillate water that is generated in the condenser to fresh water tank. Flow meter. It is installed to measure volume of generated fresh water. Solenoid valve. It is installed in the return side of the distillate water pump flow. When salinity meter cell which is installed in the outlet of the distillate pump detects the salt concentration in distillate water is more than 10 ppm or more, the solenoid valve will open and dump or recirculate the generated water to evaporator shell. Pump starter panel is used to perform the start-stop of ejector pump and distillate pump. Chemical tank Used for treatment of feed water to prevent addition of scale to evaporator body inside. The chemical used depending on your supplier. In our case, we are using VapTreat by Unitor and others are using Amaroyal by Drew Chemicals. Two types of freshwater generator. Submerged tube type freshwater generator and plate type freshwater generator. Working principles and operation of freshwater generator. Freshwater generator comprises of evaporator and condenser with straight pipes and shell as tube type heat exchanger and in plate type are series of plates. The working principles is through distillation process by means of seawater delivered by ejector pump that passes through air brine ejector to create vacuum in the evaporator chamber then goes to the condenser inlet and to the outlet. Feed water enters to the evaporator chamber through the orifice at the feed inlet. Main engine jacket cooling water is supplied to the inside of the evaporator chamber heat transfer tubes. Boiling point of the water can be reduced by reducing the pressure of the atmosphere that surrounds it. Because of the vacuum inside the evaporator chamber, boiling can take place at about 40 to 60 degrees Celsius and evaporation takes place. The carrier over water droplets and water spray in the evaporator are removed by deflector mounted on top of evaporator and others are by the master. The separated water droplets get collected as brine which extracted by air brine ejector. The vapor enters into the condenser and cooled and condensed by the incoming cold seawater in the condenser. Then, distilled water is taken out by the distillate pump and discharged to the fresh water tank. It is controlled by salinity meter and solenoid valve. In the event of salinity of fresh water exceeding in the predetermined value, maximum is 10 ppm, the solenoid valve will open and dump or recirculate the generated water to the evaporator shell, then alarm sounded. This is to prevent the contamination of water in the fresh water tank. How to start fresh water generator? Fully open overboard. Delivery and inlet valves of ejector pump. Start ejector pump. Seawater pressure in the air ejector must be 0.47 MPA or more. Open condenser outlet valve and seawater delivery valve to air brine ejector. Wait the vacuum pressure to build up inside the separator shell and make sure that the shell pressure is less than 0.09 MPA. Open the feed water valve to feed seawater to the evaporator. Adjust seawater supply rate to the following value to 0 0.01 to 0 0.03 MPA or to the markings provided in the pressure gauge for desired feed water pressure. Check in the sight glass if the seawater is overflow in the top part and the water level is not raised. If the water level is raised and higher than the position of the sight glass window, ejector pressure is over standard value. Stop the operation and rectify the cost. Open main engine jacket cooling inlet valve slowly 
and to purge air, open air vent at the top of the evaporator to make sure the evaporator is filled with jacket cooling water. Then, open jacket cooling outlet valve. Upon opening of the main engine jacket cooling water, vacuum will goes up as you observe, and this is normal. And after heating temperature of the evaporator stabilizes, it will goes back to normal vacuum pressure which is 0 0.09 MPa or more. But if the jacket cooling temperature and pressure is raising continuously, close the jacket cooling water inlet and outlet and there is possibility of problem in the vacuum control piping. Switch on the salinity meter alarm panel to measure the concentration of salt in the generated fresh water. And if the concentration of salt is more than 10 ppm or more, solenoid valve will open and dump or recirculate the produced water to the shell. Switch on the distillate pump if condensed water is coming to the suction line and can be seen to the side glass provided. Regulate the flow and pressure of the fresh water generated going to the fresh water tank to make sure that the distillate pump is not running empty. Checking if the running condition is normal. Make sure that the vacuum in the shell is 0.09 MPa or more. Shell temperature must be around 46 to 50 degrees Celsius. Brine level inside the shell should be one-third in the side glass and flushing of water can be seen. Condenser inlet and outlet temperature should have difference of 5 to 8 degrees Celsius. Seawater pressure in the air brine ejector is 0.01 to 0.03 MPa. Check the distillate pump pressure and flow meter and the level of the flow of dosing chemical. How to stop fresh water generator? Fully open main engine jacket cooling bypass valve. Fully close inlet and outlet valves of main engine jacket cooling. Confirm that boiling is stopped from the side glass of evaporator shell. Close the feed water valve and chemical dosing valve. Stop the distillate pump and close the discharge valve. Switch off the salinity meter box and close filling valve to the fresh water tank. Keep the ejector pump running until the evaporator shell temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius. Stopping of ejector pump while evaporator shell temperature is still high will lead to scale formation in evaporator tubes that may lead to blockage and reduction of heat transfer efficiency and its production capacity. Two types of scale may form are calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. Stop ejector pump, fully closed inlet, outlet, and overboard valves. To all our Kamakinista, that's all for our fresh water generator. I hope this video helps you understand the operation procedures and its working principles.